Students are still recovering after yesterday's school bus rollover accident near Manchester. 32 students and two drivers had to go to the city's regional medical center for evaluation after police say an SUV hit the bus. Now, a nurse in charge of the ER there says it was miraculous that nobody was killed. CBS 2 News reporter Marissa Scott explaining now why the hospital is being praised for handling all those patients. Marissa? Scott, the staff says they hold disaster drills every year and have previously trained on bus crashes. Without that prior training, the response and outcome could have been a different story. Guardian angels were watching over that bus. Heather Reese is the chief nursing officer at Regional Medical Center, where 34 patients were transferred after the Iowa State Patrol says an SUV collided with the school bus Thursday afternoon. It could have been a totally different situation. And when you hear the mechanism of injury and the amount of rolling that bus did, your, your mind just goes wild. Reese says when they got the call, they grabbed their suitcase full of disaster response supplies and brought in extra nurses. We knew we needed help. When the patients arrived, staff escorted them through the emergency room doors and placed them in different rooms based on colored bands indicating their injuries. The biggest priority was identifying these kids early on, identifying them with a unique number. Most were quickly treated and discharged. The minimal were uh, probably scratches and scrapes and the uh, most significant were we had a few fractures and we had several head injuries. The staff says they're thankful everything went smoothly because it could have been a lot worse. They're going to be calm if you're calm, and more typically, or they're going to be scared if you act like uh, they need to be, and uh, they were very brave. And in the end, every patient was reunited with their parent or loved ones. Luckily, we we're very uh, fortunate, and our community is um, amazing in their response to this. So, yeah, definitely guardian angels were here. All patients went home except for two who were discharged this morning. Marissa Scott, Fox 28 News. Thank you, Marissa.